Chapter 1. The Ocean Our story begins on the ocean, with wind and rain and thunder and lightning and waves. A hurricane roared and raged through the night, and in the middle of the chaos, a cargo ship was sinking. Down, down, down to the ocean floor. The ship left hundreds of crates floating on the surface. But as the hurricane thrashed and swirled and knocked them around, the crates also began sinking into the depths. One after another, they were swallowed up by the waves until only five crates remained. By morning, the hurricane was gone. There were no clouds, no ships, no land in sight. There was only calm, water, and clear skies, and those five crates lazily bobbing along an ocean current. Days passed, and then a smudge of green appeared on the horizon. As the crates drifted closer and closer, the soft green shapes slowly sharpened into the hard edges of a wild, rocky island. The first crate rode to shore on a tumbling, rumbling wave and then crashed against the rocks with such force that the whole thing burst apart. Now, Reader, what I haven't mentioned is that tightly packed inside each crate was a brand new robot. The cargo ship had been transporting hundreds of them before it was swept up in the storm. Now, only five robots were left. Actually, only four were left because when the first crate crashed against the rocks, the robot inside shattered to pieces. The same thing happened to the next crate. It crashed against the rocks and robot parts flew everywhere. Then it happened to the next crate and the next. Robot limbs and torsos were flung onto ledges. A robot head splashed into a tide pool. A robot foot skittered into the waves. And then came the last crate. It followed the same path as the others, but instead of crashing against the rocks, it sloshed against the remains of the first four crates. Soon, more waves were heaving it up and out of the water. It soared through the air, spinning and glistening, until it slammed down onto a tall shelf of a rock. The crate was cracked and crumpled, but the robot inside was safe. And that's the end of chapter one, entitled The Ocean.